NASA's Artemis program aims to put humans back on the moon by 2024. Oh, jeez. There we are. We're going together. Uh, really should be, uh, you should be there uh, as well because one of the goals is to, uh, for a lady. No thanks. I'm staying right here. A lady yes, is going to be going uh, as well while paving the way for private companies uh, to build a lunar economy and one day send humans to Mars. Join us now. Jim Bridenstine, he's NASA Administrator. Are there, Jim, good to see you. Exciting. Uh, this is a prelude, prelude maybe to Mars. Thank you. Um, which seems far away to, to most of us. Um, it's a new, it's a space launch system rocket. It is different than what we've seen in the past. And how does it work? It's not like a shuttle, right? Is it reusable? No, no, it's not. See, the space shuttle went to low Earth orbit. The Space Launch System, which is behind me, is the most powerful rocket ever built, and it's going to take our astronauts to the moon. And it's also going to enable us to assemble a space station in orbit around the moon, which is going to be evolvable to eventually be the ship that takes us to Mars. Uh, so the core stage of the SLS rocket, which is behind me, is now complete. And we're very excited about it uh, because this is going to enable us to go to the moon sustainably. In other words, we're going to stay at the moon. Uh, we're going to go with commercial partners and international partners, driving down costs and increasing access. But we're also going to utilize the resources of the moon. On the south pole of the moon, there's hundreds of millions of tons of water ice, which is, of course, life support. It's water to drink and air to breathe, but it's also rocket fuel. Hydrogen is, in fact, rocket fuel. It's the same rocket fuel that's going to power the SLS rocket behind me. Uh, and, of course, we're doing all of these activities to get to Mars. So we're very excited about the core stage of the SLS rocket being complete so that we can get on with the Artemis mission, which is our mission back to the moon sustainably. This time we're going to stay. Commercial Lunar Payload Service Initiative. And, and it, are there more private companies involved now than in the past with NASA? Because there's 14, and, and we'll talk about some of the new ones that were just added. But, I mean, there are always subcontractors, I guess, but it just seems like this is even expanding the, the private sector's participation. Is, is that fair to say? Big time. Absolutely. We are, we are expanding the space economy. It used to be that NASA would purchase, own, and operate all of the hardware that would fly into space. And now what we're doing is we're saying, hey, where there's a commercial marketplace, we want to be a customer. We want to be one customer of many customers in a robust commercial marketplace. And we want to have numerous providers that are competing against each other on cost and innovation, driving down costs, increasing access to space. The SLS rocket behind me is, is the rocket that's human qualified that will be able to take our astronauts to the moon. But once they get into orbit around the moon, we're going to have capabilities that are going to be delivered commercially. And as you mentioned earlier, we're going to have all kinds of activities on the surface of the moon delivered by the Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program. The idea being that we need all of these commercial partners to combine with what only government can do at this point. And then we also need to combine with what international partners can provide and build a coalition that can go to the moon to stay. Jeez, driving around up there. You're going to need that. I guess you're going to need that. Uh, maybe one of those new Tesla trucks. It kind of looks like... Uh what, what you'd be using up there uh, on the moon, Jim, doesn't it? I mean, maybe that's why they decided. So um, this, is, this is one yeah. way of saying it. We're buying, NASA is buying rides to the moon rather than owning the delivery system. That's kind of that's cool. And it, and it might unleash the so, private sector. So when it, when, when it, yes, that's right. When you think about human flights to the moon, the rocket behind us, is a NASA rocket. NASA purchased, owned, and operated it. But we're also going to be delivering cargo, and we're going to be delivering payloads into orbit around the moon. Around uh, We call it a, the gateway. Think of a space station in orbit around the moon, a space station that is evolvable to actually become the ship that takes us to Mars. That's cool, yeah. And so that's what we're building at the uh, moon. And, of course, it's going to take all of the above.